hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this recording this recording is for members of the day traders fast track program and the general trading community now because it is also for the general trading community for members that are watching this there are three or four slides that I'll run through very very quickly that are promoting the day traders fast track program but I know you certainly won't mind me doing that so the purpose of this recording is to cover what are some of the best futures markets to day trade so I'm going to be focusing on the futures markets however the same ideas that I give you I'm going to be giving you some tips and ideas also apply to the Forex and futures market so it's still very very important that you watch this from start to end now some of what I cover in this recording may be basic for the experienced trader however it's great to be reminded on some of the things that we may have forgotten and I promise you even if you're an experienced trader you may pick up one or two other ideas now traders we all know this you can choose to have an extraordinary life as a trader you have unlimited possibilities basically as a trader however here's one of the major issues over 80 percent of my members are experienced traders and many have found it difficult in the past maybe lost their accounts a number of times etc so I just want to say this don't let the shadow of your past hold your future hostage in other words it's very very easy to become naturally skeptical and you hear me talk about this in virtually every recording we need to work uh, harder on ourselves than what we do on our strategies treat your past as a learning experience and move forward it's just very very important so as a quick reminder there are three cornerstones to what we do as traders that is three key elements number one is our psychology which is about 90% and as I say you need to work harder on yourself than what you do on your trading strategies very very important because this really it's about us against the markets it's you know it, this is about head stuff the next thing of course is our strategies which is about 5% of a mix and in the day traders fast track program you've got 14 15 of the world's greatest strategies and last of all really what this video is about today is our risk money management and the markets to actually trade so I'm only going to cover briefly the various markets but I just want to give you an overview so for traders of perhaps uh, that may be new or that maybe perhaps in the past have been trading Forex and maybe looking at futures hopefully you pick up some ideas out of this recording now we do of course need to put up our risk disclaimer there is a risk in in trading if you're brand new uh, to my recordings please pause the video and watch this uh, sorry watch I should say read and <laughs> traders I need I do need to say this as always my videos are very raw real and direct there's no editing there's no script so if I fluff up anything you'll have to forgive me uh, and one other thing too on the bottom right hand corner you can expand the window to fill up your screen as you're watching this on YouTube because uh, we are going to be looking at some charts with some small figures in it very very soon now uh, so in other words uh, uh, read the disclaimer uh, members of course you see this on every video also if you haven't requested or obtained my free training manual there's a download link in the description box below I have two different uh, manuals one's a training manual and another one's on the truth about day trading and last of all please ensure that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I release new videos every week and I now have hundreds of videos on YouTube uh, and I've got actually over 300 videos in the day traders fast track program and a very very quick plug and then we're finished okay no more advertisements after this one for $197 you receive my entire program it's now 15 strategies uh, my indicators there is nothing else to buy there's no other programs there's no upsell uh, uh, for $197 so visit my website to find out more about the day traders fast track program it's the most comprehensive program for traders in the world today and as one member on a Skype meeting said to me a new member yesterday he said Ray there's a treasure 
treasure trove of information on your site that is in the members area so that's it no more ads so please subscribe to my channel so let's get into this so first of all I want to say this and as you know when I run my videos or record my videos I always have a sprinkling of psychology or personal growth in them uh, in the recordings because it's very very important we constantly work on ourselves is that I, I'm not sure who said this but a clear vision backed by definite plans gives you a tremendous feeling of confidence and personal power and what I'm saying here is it's very very important that you create a compelling future that is when you've got a big enough why what I call a mighty why a big enough compelling goal the how will show up it becomes easier just like you see me use this chart as an example what is possible because when you understand what is possible as a trader it really it just assists you in buckling down and working harder towards a goal and as a quick reminder starting off with capital of five thousand dollars and uh, I won't go into it if you're a smaller trader but let's just assume for the sake uh, of today's exercise five thousand and you make net two hundred dollars a day well when you double that account you start trading two contracts and when you double that you start that is to another 5,000 you start trading three and you can see this table you can pause the table and study it and you can see by about week 16 17 you have the potential of earning around ten thousand dollars a week starting off with only five thousand and that's earning two hundred dollars a day traders now your goal may be $500 a day your goal may be $100 a day but you need to have a mighty why you need to have a compelling future and that's why I bring this up whatever your goal is put it in writing that's really important so let's now get to the main meat of this uh, recording and it's about just talking about what are some of the best futures markets to trade so here are some considerations first of all every market has its personality the ES is totally different uh, chalk and cheese say to CL and which is the black gold oil and oil is totally different to gold the yellow metal and so you've got lots of different markets so you need to study the markets and learn its personality it is very very important and some of the other considerations we have is what's the account size required that is different brokers will have different margins required when you open an account with them but we're also going to be considering risk and I've got a slide on that which we'll look at in a moment another consideration is the daily volume traded because we do need to consider the liquidity of that instrument that you're trading we're going to come to a chart on that in a moment the best hours to trade very very important for an example the ES can be absolutely dead during the globex session the globex session is after the New York hours we can go uh, into the Asian session the market closes for about an hour it reopens we're then in the Asian session we then go throughout the Australian day we then head into London where liquidity starts to pick up now you still have some other great markets during the, uh, the Globex hours you've got uh, gold can be excellent absolutely outstanding but there's some issues there on the account sites which we'll look at in a moment you've got the currency futures you've got um, the black gold CL can be really good uh, even the NQ you can still get some volume on the NQ but where we may normally trade a 144 tick chart on the NQ during New York during the globex session you may drop that down to as low as a 55 tick just because the liquidity and the volume trade is a lot lower and that rolls then into the best hours because what we want to um, uh, be looking for which is really the next one volatility we want a trendy market now virtually my entire program is about trading trends I'm not a great range bound trader trading a tight range that's not my forte I like a trending market so when I'm testing or reviewing a market it's very very important for me to go back over that market and to look for trends and what are the best hours when do I see those trends for an example almost every market 
and this is Australian time between about 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. the markets absolutely die it's the quietest time for the Asian session then you lead into the pre-open of London and vo volume and volatility will pick right up but there's three to four hours there where you may as well go and have a game of golf if you're based in Asia or Southeast Asia or I should say uh, or even in Australia uh, forget trading that's what I recommend anyway because you just don't get the volatility normally unless there's um, what we call a news release a red flag the other consideration you need to consider the best strategies to trade on that market because because they do have different personalities you'll see spikes you'll get um, uh, some markets are much better on divergence we have a setup we call the t3 uh, CL is fantastic with this t3 NQ is not as good with the t3 so you want to really study those markets and work out which is best so you need to have then your plan of attack and unfortunately and I already know some of you watching this will not do this but it's a shame this is a business you need to have a business plan you need to really study your setups now hopefully I challenge you and you, and you actually decide to do something and treat it as a business you've got the greatest opportunity in the world for income and you need a business plan so your plan of attack what is it now for my members watching this uh, if you're going to trade with the trend which is what you hear me constantly promote until you're very profitable as a day trader uh, trade with the trend only forget tra uh, counter trend trading now you still want to learn the CT trades and the reason being is that you want to know when to stay out of a trade if you've got a very very strong CT setting up counter trend trade you don't want to trade against that so you still want to understand it but trade with the trend so traders uh, our trend trades the best ones are the t1 the super scalper your slingshot our double tops double bottoms with the trend your t25 of course the good old classic the 34b and the 89b and I should really just put a dot there I just noticed that was missing okay now look at it this way and the reason I want to cover this is that one of the greatest challenges for traders is impatience because if you're only say trading the t1 and the t2 and maybe the t7 you're not going to get a ton of trades so you may choose to trade a couple of markets so in this particular case I'm going to assume that here that you're trading gold and you're trading CL and both of those are $10 a tick so and let's also assume here that you're going to be trading four hours a day so on two markets and you're after 12 trades a day so that's six trades each that's three an hour that's one and a half trades per market and the reason I want you to write this down is that when you're looking at the charts and you're only picking up one to two trades per market looking at the big picture okay you know within your three to four hours you're going to end up with your 12 trades it just teaches you patience because what happens is when we don't see the trades popping up oh something's wrong and we start looking for marginal trades remember we're professionals we're looking at trading the best of the best now this leads into then the $200 a day which then leads into to having and trading the right market because to achieve our daily goals we want to be trading the right market where we're going to be getting the trades now let's just say here we go for and we achieve 75% wins uh, and uh, that's nine out of 12 trades that's nine winners at seven ticks okay so we're going for the a lower number at seven ticks and three lose 25% losses so we've got a total uh, gain of 63 minus the 21 ticks we lose we've got commission there of six ticks sixty dollars let's just round it off at five dollars a trade uh, we've got a net 36 ticks or three hundred and sixty dollars let's just say we're a bit sloppy on our trades we we get a bit marginal or we're having a, a, a tougher day we only achieve 67 percent wins at eight by seven ticks after we take away the commissions and the losses that's 220 a day net now your plan may be totally different to this but what I'm challenging you to do and asking you to do as traders and as your success coach is to start planning out these details 
leave nothing nothing to chance it's very very important now moving into the markets so what I've done is taken a screenshot of my uh, what are the details that I keep on the markets that I trade now we're about to look at some spreadsheets we'll look at uh, is lots of different markets but these are the ones that I like the British pound on the currency futures we have a currency futures a CME contracts and uh, we're looking at 625 a, a, a tick so the British pound the euro the yen and if you go down to the AD the Aussie dollar that's ten dollars uh, per tick uh, I then have on CL now you may notice here I've got the Z 17 and the F 18 I always like to have the forward contract on CL so I can just see the volume it just is a good alert and you can even do this with all of your other contracts traders by having the forward contract that is the current contract and the forward contract like I've got here on CL it's just a nice heads up when you're heading towards contract rollover uh, it's a good reminder okay we then got the NQ we've got gold we've got the ES and I've got the Nikkei now we look at the volume we can see on the pound 95 and on this date this is the 24th of a tenth 17 95,000 uh, the euro dollar 176,000 this is in 24 hours by the way the yen 171 on CL the current contract there we had done nearly 700,000 in Q 232 uh, gold 262 the ES was quite a uh, 1 million contracts and the Aussie dollar 98,000 contracts that's what I have and these are the markets that I'm particularly interested in now just to quickly cover before we go to look at the charts this is a and I've covered this in a previous email but I thought it'd be really appropriate to bring it up that is uh, it was a question from a member I'm currently working full-time while I master the art of day trading can only trade when I get home after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard what markets would you recommend I consider trading so what markets he's asking what I recommend well as I said in this particular slide we want training markets with healthy trading volumes which is the euro futures contract the yen gold of course you've got Forex and of course I wasn't sure on this gentleman's account size if you've got less than four to five thousand dollars you don't have a lot of options you really you've got to look at Forex and it's also a good way of cutting your teeth now of course there are thousands of day traders around the world that trade Forex and I'm not going to turn this into a Forex session this is about futures but if you've got less than four to five thousand Forex is the way to go now during the London session so that's uh, after 6 p.m. these are all great markets and uh, what I'm missing off there also is CL uh, if you're trading the London session all of those above uh, the NQ by the way can be good I didn't put the NQ down so there's lots of markets and it's about really studying those putting them up and as you hear me say regularly become a specialist that is you're not going to be able to trade well I don't believe you're going to be able to trade 10 markets at once it's very very difficult um, really you may be able to trade two to three so let's just say if you're trading the 34b and you become a 34b specialist because uh, members we know how good that is now the 34b is is really overall a good 80 85 percent trade 75 to 85 percent consistently it's a great trade and you could trade that on two to three markets because you don't get a ton of trade you're probably going to get during some activities one an hour maybe two an hour but you combine that with the slingshot they work really well but the point here is become a specialist become a specialist on the markets that you're going to trade get to know the market like if you're going to trade gold um, which can be extremely volatile what you'll discover is as long as you're pretty much staying away from the red flags and and sticking with the trend you're pretty much mighty fine okay you, you, you're going to be right um, as long as you've got the account size you do need a larger account but we'll come to that CL get to know the personality on CL it's a total different market but it's a fantastic market so 
I think you get the hint anyway become a specialist now as we get into this I'm going to go through uh, a chart now for members I'm just going to quickly show you this I'm going to show you some cheat sheets and if you go to the folder on my Google Drive called futures trading you'll see the cheat sheets I'm about to show you six to eight cheat sheets they're all in this section okay so we've got this colored one here and the CME uh, uh, cheat sheet so you'll see those there in the futures trading folder don't forget that the 34b is in there's two extensive folders there on the 34b and just one more thing based upon uh, what this member said to me yesterday that is a treasure trove the more he looks into these um, traders spend the time it's going to take you hours going through everything I've accumulated on my Google Drive and in all of these folders okay take your time in going through and very very important go through and there's just a ton of stuff in there now back to this so let's start to look at the markets and the volume so what futures markets could we possibly consider well first of all one of the largest markets in the world are the interest rates where you've got the Treasury notes the 10-year the five-year I don't personally trade these now if you look at the volume look at the euro dollars here uh, so if you look at the volume of that two and a half million contracts a day now you will need a different uh, and that's the thing with these different markets some of them you've got to get a different um, uh, subscription to data so you've got different uh, data sub which means you've got to pay for these so if you're not going to trade these uh, you may not choose to pay for the data for them but it's a lot of our members trade these markets the Treasury notes the 10-year the five-year we can see here the volume and this is what we're really interested in 1.4 million contracts a day 900 376 so you can see some great volume and that's what we really want to make sure that we've got the volume pumping through we now go to the equity indexes which is the e-mini uh, S&P which is uh, as we know $50 a point and it's uh, $12.50 per tick and this by the way you'll see on the cheat sheet I'm about to show you average volume one and a half million contracts the Nasdaq is two uh, 293,000 the e mini Dow which is uh, five dollars a tick 138 we've got some members that just swear by the Dow I don't personally trade the Dow but they love it you got the Nikkei now with the Nikkei this is the CME contract you don't have massive volume it's 43,000 uh, contracts trade a day and you actually can get the Nikkei mini now trade station who I trade through doesn't um, doesn't actually provide the data where well, you can't actually trade the Nikkei mini uh, which has about uh, close to I believe uh, a million contracts trade a day so it's very great volume great trends now I know through amps for an example you can get uh, you can trade the Nikkei so uh, just getting back to my friends that get home uh, and want to trade the uh, the Asian session after work in the US have a look at the mini Nikkei now it's as I said it's through the Osaka uh, exchange you can't get it's not a, a CME contract but worthwhile having a look at because of the volume so and as a reminder this cheat sheet is in the members area in that folder another great market I love is crude oil we can see the daily daily volume all combined is upwards of uh, over a million uh, contracts a day ten dollars a tick uh, more and more traders are turning to uh, crude you get some great trades there of course got to be very careful of red flags uh, if the inventory reports that come out on Wednesday you don't want to be in the markets when that comes out um, no, if the market goes crazy but look at these volumes so these are some of the qualifications now natural gas uh, the crude oil the Brent I don't trade personally so I'm really once again getting back to what I showed you here before I've got tons of markets here and I can't trade them all at once anyway so I'm just showing you there's lots of options now the next one we want to look at here is the yellow metal gold now gold 252,000 that has some great uh, trends during the Asian and London session now as we'll see in a moment there's a drawback 
that is the account size that you need to have so we'll look at that in a moment I've had some uh, members that uh, will not have have had but I have members that trade silver and if I remember correctly it's uh, $25 a tick uh, they really like the trends in silver so it's a matter of once again exploring these markets and deciding what suits your personality once again uh, CL gold the NQ uh, some uh, and the currency futures for top three I love I think they're great now this is another cheat sheet that is in the members area so it just runs through here what the symbols are where the contract is so the CME or the CBOT or, or the ice uh, the, the how much per tick value it is the size for contract months and the market hours so once again you'll find that in the futures folders in the members area you got the metals you got the meats the grains the softs the uh, so you can just see the range of different um, uh, contracts and actually did I get I think I might have actually skipped past here we go the agriculture ones I skipped past that my apologies uh, we can see corn 420,000 contracts a day soybeans and so there's a lot of traders there that are trading agricultural contracts so there's just a, a lot of them okay so you can just see you've got um, a lot of um, uh, different choices so traders as you can see there uh, there's a ton of choices but this is something which is very very important before we go and have a look at the margins that trade station requires you to put up now they vary slightly from broker to broker but this is what I wanted to bring up if you want to have a maximum risk of 2% each trade very very important so let's just say here on gold on gold or on CL my average stop is seven ticks so if we take seven ticks which is $70 and the Commission let's just round it off at five dollars uh, and you should be getting down to close to four dollars now so that's seventy five dollars now if you're following the two percent rule that means you need to be allowing three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars per contract now you'll find there'll be some contracts as you're about to see where with the brokers you can open up an account with a lot less than that but you need to remember your professionals we are trading professionals and you need to remember one of the cornerstones of risk management so 2% as a maximum but as I state down the bottom here as you increase the number of contracts you trade from a psychological point of view it's essential that you lower your risk to say 0.5% per contract you trade now it means overall you're going to be earning less as a day trader as you grow but I promise you it'll trading will be a lot easier it'll be a lot less stressful and so um, you don't have your major fund managers that are trading with one two three five percent traders uh, not the best of the best so money management is absolutely critical so as you build um, you can uh, this is very very important that you lower your risk factor so let's now have a look at some of the requirements now with trade station here with the Australian dollar so this is the currency futures which is different to the spot market the Forex market for the Australian dollar you need to open your account with or have in there $1,430 and the day trading margin is 50% of that so I only really need to have uh, $715 in my account but let's remember here our risk now in an actual fact with the Aussie dollar it's $10 a tick and my actual stop is about seven ticks so if I was to trade contracts uh, with what the trade station says is the minimum there which is say um, it's just say fourteen hundred dollars at this stage which is about less than half of that it means I'm risking about five percent per trade traders you will go out of business so you do need to remember that when we're looking at these margins here that it's very very important that you remember your risk a maximum of two percent and even then you need to have a buffer you need to allow for some losses okay so where it says they're uh, around four uh, around three and a half four thousand dollars you want to have four and a half thousand in there very important now if you can't trade at that sort of level to begin with 
start off with Forex and build your account now getting back to uh, the other margins you've got uh, the British pound uh, 2300 of uh, Canadian dollar 1000 of uh, the euro currency 2300 uh, the yen which is another great volume so your top four are the Aussie dollar uh, well starting you got uh, I think it's the the, uh, the euro dollar the yen then the pound then the Aussie dollar so you can see here you don't require massive amounts to get those going in your day trading margin is half of that but don't forget your risk management you can see there is lots of other contracts you can also trade now when we get to the e-minis uh, now with TradeStation for those that uh, are looking at opening with TradeStation or do the minimum account size with TradeStation is $5,000 just check with them to make sure that that doesn't change but the minimum account opening is $5,000 so with the uh, S&P your day trading margin is four and a half thousand dollars that is when you trade during the globex session the uh, volume uh, is less so you don't have the liquidity so the day trading rate is 25% so it's say about um, uh, of this it's about just say uh, $1,250 where during the uh, globex session it's about four and a half now and actually uh, it might be nine through nine sorry it might be four nine my apologies because you've got uh, a lot less liquidity so during New York your margins are a lot lower required which allows you to trade a lot more contracts but of course don't forget your money management so you look at uh, the Russell uh, it's a lot less there 2400 you've got the Nasdaq which is around 5,000 uh, you've got the Nikkei around 42 you go down to uh, the DAX which is uh, really large 23,000 euros uh, the euro stock is 50 that works out to be about 4,000 a market I've traded for many years uh, which is really your European market we now get to gold and this is where you need to look at gold is gold your margin uh, minimum margin is 5390 and you can drop down to 49 before you need to top it up and the day trading margin is 50% of that it's still about two and a half thousand so gold you need a, a larger account so you just need to consider that likewise with silver it, which is 6490 USD you can uh, trade 50% of that as a day trading margin so you can see here gold and silver because of uh, liquidity or I should say let me say actually it's volatility your margin there is a lot more we go down the crude now it's uh, rather interesting with crude you get some incredible volatility there yet you can start trading contracts with 2400 but uh, just remember the average stop on crude I have is about seven ticks so that is well under our minimum requirements to stay within our risk management and uh, what else we got and that's really the end of that but now just uh, one thing on the margins I just want to say uh, is that say if you're uh, you've earned your stripes you're trading profitably does that mean then uh, you need to have say fifty thousand dollars sitting in your broker's account so you can trade 10 ES contracts no not at all and in actual fact I recommend you don't have the full amount of money in your broker's account in case of some catastrophic global whatever okay something happens because all stops go through your money it really it'll go right through and you can blow a big part of your account of course uh, if the market gaps down one of the reasons why as day traders we don't hold overnight positions so I would still recommend you have <coughs> pardon me 40% of your uh, required margin there unless of course you're trading a globex session when you have no and I let me just explain that if you're trading globex you must have the amount of money in there but if you're trading New York you don't have to have you can drop down trade 10 contracts with say about 25,000 or with, with 20,000 a lot less than that but if you're trading Globex remember you do need to have the whole amount in the account hopefully I just haven't confused you so traders uh, just in recapping it's very very important that you really discover which are the best markets for you many of my members love the NQ 
the bigger traders will trade with the ES because of the volumes they trade but of course the ES you get big consolidation areas um, uh, you just don't have that volatility and as scalpers as traders that's really what we're after and that's just one thing on that let me just show you this um, which is important uh, and this is just a session I was doing uh, a live session with a member and uh, we're just going through here now to achieve your $200 a day what I've done here I'm a scalper by the way so many of you know that I'll scalp usually five to six ticks it's just what I've been doing for years I feel comfortable uh, with whichever market the BNQ I've only recently in the last year or so started trading the, the black gold now each one of these trades so there's one two three trades each one of these was for five ticks okay just two contracts on each of those for five ticks now that then gross per contracts hundred and fifty dollars now I scalped five ticks I could have achieved seven ticks on each of those moves and by the way for those that are members you saw I just I missed this I forget there's a reason why I walked out of a room or something happened but I missed this particular there's a golden trade here we know this is a t234b uh, but all of these could have and would have achieved seven ticks or better so if you're looking at targeting so you'll quite often hear me I've got a mantra five by five yes I can five by five yes I can now five by five means means five trades by five ticks net at the end of the day means you're netting over two hundred dollars a day per contract which gives you that target on the other hand you can go for if you go by going for seven ticks you only need really three of those trades instead of five and you're achieving basically around the two hundred dollars now and just while we're here what are some of the ways that of course we can trail and go for our larger targets well we can use with those little dots here are an ATR stop and flip you may use the trigger line which is our blue line so there's lots of things you can do there for for um, uh, going for larger targets but there were four great setups in this hour on the one market now remember our goal if your goal is to be netting 200 a day net you need to be targeting 300 a day you've got to allow for your down days that is a reality so where I say 200 net you want to be going for 300 but we can see here and this was also during the London session you'll get some great trade now very very important just why I've got it here for members look at my anchor chart um, I've just got a Hakanashi uh, candles there but putting that's what's coloring at the funny colors there but putting that aside what can you see this is the sweet spot look at my EMAs on my entry chart they're trending down look at the EMAs on my anchor chart they're also trending down and of course my anchor chart is approximately three times higher than my entry chart so what's very very important I'm always looking for let me take that back mostly looking for sweet spots when my anchor chart is trending in the direction of my trade so what we're looking for here is the pullbacks is the retracements in actual fact I'll just show you of course you can sign off if you wish but let me just show you one slide here if I can just quickly find it here because it just may help clarify what we're really looking for uh, here it is here no not that one ah where's it gone here we go entering on a pullback in the direction of a larger trend is inherently a higher probability trade because you are trading in the direction of the current price momentum so that's very very important that you be trading in the direction of either your higher time frames EMA say your 200 EMA or even better still and I'm really pushing nowadays that you have your anchor chart up and for those that are this one more thing here that I just want to bring up here well where's that slide here here it is and just one more thing as I sign off this gets back to this uh, session that I was do doing with this uh, trader on five by five yes 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 that is as I say to traders the big part of what I do is really is head stuff um, the great Zig Ziglar used to say we all suffer from a hardening of the attitudes and we all need a checkup from the neck up and my job as your trading coach is to slap you around and get is to challenge your thinking 
uh, you see I'm fortunate that I'm old enough and ugly enough to really don't care what people think about me which means I can be direct with you and not have my feelings hurt if you don't like me because I'm not in it for you to like me I'm in it to help you succeed as a trader therefore is to push you is to say what you've got to be doing it's absolutely critical that you be challenging your thinking and what I mean by this top point here is don't believe everything you think uh, that is what we believe a lot of our beliefs are lies they're not true they'll steal our future you need to change your thought patterns um, uh, it's just very very important getting back to this head stuff and you really work on this so this gets back to this 200 a day again five by five tick CL trades a day day after you take off the commission sets so 225 now for traders uh, a lot of traders are frozen when it comes to executing anyone can trade on the simulator that's easy but it's when you start trading live and you need to celebrate you need to use neurolinguistics and you need to use your physiology and stand and yes 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 and you need to hype yourself up traders that's what it takes that's what the best of the best do if you go and look at some of the floor traders I've worked with right you'll get up they have a winning trade they get up and they high five and even if the guys are in their 40s most of them are getting burnt out by then the younger guys they celebrate their wins they're anchoring you need to do the same thing very important you need to get out of your desk chair most of you know I now have standing desks. I'm standing here as I'm presenting all of my screens I have high chairs that are right actually draftsman's chairs it allows me to still sit down but as I trade I can stand I can use my physiology I can breathe I can pull my shoulders back it makes a massive difference when you trade so it's um, just very very important and just finally as we go a man's doubts and fears are his worst enemies how do we build confidence in our trading by keeping the stats and as we close I just want to read out part of an email and this is impromptu by the way I told you that these sessions are uh, raw real and undirect <laughs> Un unedited I should say unplanned this is an email that I received on Wednesday the 25th of October 2017 um, I'm looking at CL only I started out looking for 34 B's but after a few days expanded it to 89 B's and T2's uh, as I'm able to understand uh, I recognize those two frankly as far as numbers are uh, so far the numbers are astonishing and I would have even been better if I included the uh, uh, included the ignored but the obvious to me setup so win loss to ratios nine wins to one loss and he goes on this is a really long email from a relatively new member traders you overcome your doubts and fears when you go and put the work in to it okay the only place in the world where success comes before work is in the dictionary you need to go back and apply the setups because there's one thing that I can't give you traders and it's what we call screen time I can't give you that screen time and so very very important you spend the time going through the trades marking them up and gaining that screen time so traders this is it I <laughs> will sign off we're 42 nearly 43 minutes in uh, I'll see you on the next video